Hey everyone, it's Ganyu here and I just want to share what I think is the most dangerous thing about this bike. Uh, see, I've been touring the planet, actually North America. I left LA uh, end of last year and now it's almost uh, the new year again. And uh, after 13 months of riding all over through 10 different countries, um, there's one thing about this bike that really freaks me out. And that is this, I will show you right here. That's the fob. This is the fob. Without this, or without the battery and everything working properly, this bike will not work. And if you lose that little guy, it's gonna take you three months to replace it. Um, and here in South America, forget about it. So basically, my life is in one hand right here, this, this thing here. So this. $15,000 bike, it's second hand now, so whatever, 12,000 US, 10,000, I don't care what it is. But that thing, if this gets lost, that's pretty much it, that's toast. That's gonna be a non-issue, non and I will be unable to continue my round the world trip, not just for three months, but I don't know for how long, because if I do get a replacement key, it would probably have to be shipped to the States, and uh, that would be a nightmare. So, had I known when I first bought this bike that my life would be in one key, I probably would have opted for a different bike. Uh, if you're like me, um, and I tend to lose things very easily, uh, so I've always had the keys in this pocket here. This is a zippered pocket right here. This is, these are, I use the Hawk pants. I'm gonna get a new pair because they're falling apart. Uh, but they stay in this zippered pocket. Anyway, about three weeks ago, the unthinkable happened and my keys separated from the carabiner and somehow miraculously exited my pants. And uh, seven kilometers later, when I got to the next town, they were missing. <laughs> so the bike did not start and, uh, and a nightmare ensued. Um, I won't spoil it, tell you exactly what happened. Um, you can imagine that something, I probably found those keys judging by the fact that I have my bike here. Uh, but you can see that video, uh, it's in, uh, it's, it'll be in the Columbia playlist and uh, as well as a million other videos on the amazing outdoor, uh, well, I would say off-road adventure that I've been on, which has been absolutely insane. Anyway, uh, having said that, the bike is amazing. It works beautifully. Um, I've taken it into some of the most insane locations. Yesterday, I did a full off-roading day um, up and down these hills that were rutted. It was almost like mogul fields uh, that were wet, slimy, loose everything and uh, I somehow miraculously uh, got back. I'm not gonna tell you how many times I crashed or if I crashed, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. Um, well, I do know, but I'm not gonna say it um, right now. But uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. So Columbia is the place to be with a motorcycle. Uh, I think a smaller bike would have been better. And of course, if you're planning a round the world trip and you're gonna take one bike to every single country in the world, this is probably not the bike. Because again, if you lose that little fob, you will be SOL up the creek without a paddle and uh, it's not gonna be a good time. So consider maybe something with a little less electronics. This bike is overly electronified, meaning it has way too many components uh, that can go wrong. I've had so many little mini nightmares uh, that miraculously got resolved with the bike not starting, with things not happening, weird stuff. Even the kickstand the other day became a problem. I couldn't, uh, I, I put, kicked it up and it said on the electronics that the kickstand was not up so the bike would not start in first gear. Anyway, so that's that. Um, leave me a comment. I would love to know if you ride a bike, if you, especially if you ride a KTM, uh, and you've had a key replaced, the fob replaced. What happened? How did you get it? What did you have to do? What the nightmare was like? And if you have a bike with a fob or, or would ever consider a bike with a fob, uh, leave me a comment. I would like to know. I want to basically hear what you guys have to say about that. And there she is, ready for the next adventure, heading to Cartagena now. Should be an amazing uh, little trip down the coast. I'm pretty excited. Stay tuned.